ladies and gentlemen welcome to Siboga TV which is your number one online political channel what is next for the Gen Z's since their cry their revolution has been hijacked and the political class has really ignored them completely what is their next step? Because the way Gen Z's have been coming out, at first, I really tried to really get what was their message. And more so when they were saying, Ruto must go. But later on, I have understood the Gen Z's very well. That our young thugs, the people we call the Gen Z's, when they came out and they were saying Ruto must go, what did really they mean? And actually this is what they really meant. They meant that we needed to have a government that works for the East people. We needed to have a government which is accountable. We needed to have the government where the arms of the government actually takes jacks and balances of each other. The agencies wanted the government which is real which is effective. The Gen Z's actually wanted corruption to be dealt with there and then. But as the Gen Z's went forward to make more pronunciation that Ruto must go, that they want a government which works for its people. The political class actually hijacked this Gen Z's revolution. And all of a sudden, the political class was saying that we should have dialogue. And I know that is not what the Gen Z's wanted. They just wanted the government in place to act very fast and do what they are supposed to do. The Gen Z's never asked for William Samuel Ruto, what he calls the broad government. The Gen Z's never wanted the side of minority to mix with the side of the government. But that is what has been done. The Gen Z's wanted for us to have a vibrant opposition to the government. The opposition which is able to take the government into toes. That is actually what the Gen Z's wanted. And that is why they never had any kind of form of leadership. And that is why they said that they were leaderless and triballess because they never wanted their revolution to be drawn or to be mixed with tribal politics. They never wanted their revolution to be cooled down because probably if they had a leader then that leader as you know in the Republic of Kenya it was very easy for the leader to be compromised to be intimidated to be bribed and then that was to be the end of the revolution 
But now, the political class has actually captured the revolution of the Gen Zs. And now the political class is forcing the Gen Zs that in this republic, we must have dialogue with all the sectors, with all the different ages of people in the Republic of Kenya. And in short, with Kenya as a nation. But the Gen Zs were very clear that conversation in this Republic have actually, actually shown that they don't do anything good to the public. Because you will find that in this Republic, the public has been having various conversation, but all those conversations have not brought something tangible to the people of Kenya. And that's why the Gen Z's were undermined that they don't want any dialogue with the government. But now, the side of opposition or the side of my, my, my minority is in bed with the Kenya Kwanzaa government. Raila Molo Odinga is now working hand in hand with William Samoy Arapuruto. And now they, are, they want to suppress the Gen Z's revolution. They will did they want to tell people that we are together now as Kenyans and we are going to make Kenya to be a better place, which is probably a lie because of the way I have looked at the cabinet which has been formed. Because I can say without not, 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 not any doubt that that cabinet is full of people who lacks the moral integrity. It is a recycle of those individuals who their performance has been known that it is below bar. And that is why I'm asking, what is the way forward for the Gen Zs? Because now the political class, it seems that it is going to force the Gen Zs to come into debt. It is going to make sure that the Gen Z revolution is stopped once and for all. It will not be able to continue. Or the Gen Z revolution, which started in a very good note, is going to be tainted and it may be a group which will be given a bad name. And that is why I am asking again, what is the way forward for the Gen Z? I think it has reached a point that the Gen Zs need to have leadership. Because where it has reached, if the Gen Zs will not have any kind of leadership, it means that their aspirations, their complaints, their contributions to make this country to be a better place is going to go to a drain. And that's why I feel that it is time for the Gen Zs to have leadership. People who they will task, tax that we want you to go into a dialogue and tell the politicians what they ought to do and not to take part in that leadership. And then after that, they can give the government in place a certain duration to make things right. Because if things goes the way they are going currently, the Gen Zs might have a bad name. So they need to go back and rethink their strategy. 
And if the Gen Zs cannot have what we call any form of leadership, they will say, you said you don't, you want a dialogue. For, for us, we are not entering into that dialogue. But because you as a political class, you have gagged up against our wishes, we are going to give you time to make Kenya to be a better place. And the time we are giving you is probably six months for us to see corruption being eliminated, for us to see things moving into the right place. And after that, we will be back if things will not be better. And now we will be back against all the politicians. I think that is the way for the Gen Zs because I don't see that they are going to make anything forward because of what has happened, because of the so-called uh, the big government because of this called broad government which encompasses the ruling side and the minority side. And now we foresee a situation that we don't have any person who is going to take the government of the day into tolls because it seems parliament will be the same thing. You cannot be able to differentiate the minority side and the side of majority. I really don't know what's your take about the, this Gen Z's revolution. I really don't know what's your take and what the Gen Z's are supposed to do henceforth. Ladies and gentlemen, I could like you to drop your comment in the comment section below. And if this is your first time to pump into this YouTube channel, I request you kindly to take a minute or two and subscribe to this YouTube channel. Give this video thumbs up. Share the video to your friends. And if your friends are lovers of politics, then it's good to request them to subscribe to this YouTube channel. And for those ones who have subscribed to our YouTube channel, I say thank you. May God bless you all abundantly. And with that, I say goodbye until we meet in our next political conversation. Goodbye.